What's good, YouTube? Oh, God. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, R. Welcome back to AM Island Vibes. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing right here. Back another reaction video. Today, we're going to be reacting to Young... Oh, oh, gosh. Young Don the Sauce God. Young Don... Okay, hold up. Young Don the Sauce God. Uh, we're going to be reacting to... She wanted to fight in a Barnes & Noble. Have you ever been to a Barnes & Noble? I felt like only... I thought only old people went to Barnes & Noble. I mean, I'll say that because I guess you like to read. But then again, you could you was you could download that shit on your iPad or whatever. But hey, maybe maybe uh, okay, maybe I'm different. But anyhow, let's get to the uh, reaction video. Man, if you guys are new to the channel, I smash the button, subscribe, comment down below, run the road to 1,000 subscribers. Show sure, your boys some love. Let's get to it. Oh, what? Am I embarrassing you? Yes, you are. Now lower your voice. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was embarrassing you. I know I'm not like your girlfriend. I bet she never got loud with you. I don't want to embarrass you in front of all these people. Bro, I wanted to just like cradle her by the back of her head. Then just scream. Put it through the bookshelf, my G. Oh, okay. Abuse. Okay, I understand. Use headphones. Yo, ho, ho. before we watch this animation, right? I just want to tell all of you who have been supporting my podcast channel as well. Thank you, man. We just hit number 12 on the... God damn it, man. <sighs> Sorry about that. I, that was a bit of an outburst. I, I didn't mean to you know, come across so aggressive. But uh, yeah, I just want to tell you thank you for supporting my podcast. We just hit number 12 on the Apple podcast app thing or whatever. We have a TikTok in one week. Our TikTok is almost at 60,000 followers. All of the podcasts are getting like 10,000 views in the first two days. It really means a lot, man. So thank you. And if you haven't checked out the podcast, yo, go check it out. It's very funny. It's very entertaining. So go check it out. Go check out my podcast. Thank you. Okay. Go look at and subscribe to my podcast. Who is McDonald's? McDonald's is the school of thought. Everybody's dead, dead yeah. right? Yeah. You know, that. she not bad looking. She not great looking. She just, she just like she just not good for her. You know why you in it? You like it suffices. Okay, but you might not want to brag about it's, it. Yeah, you don't know what uh, brags about. It. I don't care what anybody said. McDonald's. That's important. I feel like Whataburger is that girl that you don't really think is hot, but for some reason, a lot of this, the gas is dope for no That's a reason. Great analogy. Do you have any places that to you feel? Sacred, a place that you only associate with good things. A place my where bathroom. you know, no matter how down bad you're feeling. Soon my bathroom. Listen, just know if you ever hear Ori invented uh, a time machine, just know there's a high possibility Ori thought of that shit while he was on the toilet. I don't have to be shitting. Don't, don't think that I'm on the toilet mean I'm actually shitting. Sometimes I just put my Okay, pause. Sometimes I literally pull my trousers down and I just sit down there. Maybe something might come out. Maybe something won't. It's just the thought of the bathroom is just so peaceful. Like, and I understand how people keep their bathrooms dirty. Like, the bathroom is like, your butt goes there and you'd be like, oh, this is such a special connection. And I don't like when every, any and everybody use my bathroom, to be honest. I love funny with it because this is my, this is my throne. The throne! Ah, oh, beautiful. Yeah, we be in a better mood. For me, yeah? that place is Barnes & Noble. Really? It's the premier bookstore chain here in America and it's hands down my favorite place to spend money. Why? Because when you buy a book, you never feel like you're wasting money. Okay. Even if you buy a book about something that was like complete nonsense, like a thousand fart jokes or gender studies, you know, you still feel like it was money well spent because it's a book. And books are smart people, intellectuals, uh -huh. you know? So, yeah, the bookstore is hands down my favorite place to go if I just want to pass some time. Surrounded by all that inspiration, wisdom, and knowledge, I always leave the bookstore feeling better than how I felt when I got there. But that's me. Maybe for you it's a different place. Maybe it's the gym, the coffee shop, the hardware store. I don't know. I'm just listing other places that I like. 
point is, we all got a place like that, I imagine. So, how would you feel if one I don't have a place brought someone besides the toilet. so that you could share the joy that this place sparks within you with them? But instead of honoring and valuing the sanctity of this holy place, they instead ruin it Ouch. by acting the fool and embarrassing it in front of everybody. Well, that's exactly what happened to me. And it was thanks to a recurring character on this channel, Little Miss Bianca. You remember Bianca. Bianca. Right? From the I wasn't ready to be a dad video or the night my heart stopped beating. Yeah, her. Well, late one evening, we were chilling together in my room. Watch out. Vibing. When I decided that I wanted to go to Barnes and Noble. So, of course, I asked her if she wanted to come along. She said yes. So, we head out to my car when I realized I didn't want to take my car. Now, if you recall from the This Girl Was Trouble video, Bianca and I started to fool around shortly after me and my girlfriend broke up. Like, wasn't even a week. <laughs> my ex lived pretty close by, and my car was very recognizable. Not because it was cool, mind you, but because it was so old and uncool that it stood out. It was a 1993 barf green Chevrolet Corsica. And you know, my girl grew up around there. You know, people knew me, people knew Bianca. Just wasn't a good look that soon, you know? So I was just gonna tell Bianca not to come, like I had changed my mind halfway to the car. But she happened to ask if I wanted her to drive. So I was like, ah, okay. That works. Her car was more low key. Okay. Blended in better. It was a black VW Jetta. So we get in the car and off we went. V now, top. One thing about wait, 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 hold on. Is it? Did he pronounce that right? I thought it was Volkswagen. Okay. That works. Her car was more low key. You know, blended in better. It was a black VW Jetta. So okay, okay, that's okay. VW. Off we went. Dude, now, I got cool now, man. Is that a correct way to say it? I understand you saying the letter is VW. I've never heard that before, VW. I've heard Volkswagen, I had the wagon, I've heard, uh, what was I heard? Something else they called them. I think, I can't remember. Well, I, know, I never heard VW, that's new. What about Bianca that I've never shared with y'all is that she was a bit of a firecracker. You know, like her personality. She loved to argue like it was sport. Never shied away from challenging How? people on their opinions and rarely held her tongue if she disagreed with you. And to be honest, it was only within the last couple of years that I myself have outgrown the need to argue with people. Growing up, facts, especially about bullshit. It was like the dumber the topic was, the more passionate the argument would be. Also, around right. the same time, believe it or not, I was vegan. In fact, I was vegan for almost a whole two years from the age of 19 to 21. And although I was never like a vegan activist because I only did the vegan thing out of thinking that it was a superior diet model, an opinion that I have since changed upon receiving more information and trying different diets. At the time, I wholeheartedly believed that it was the best diet. I told you, there's something wrong with these vegans. <laughs> Preachers on this channel several different occasions. These vegans are weird. Let me tell you why I say they weird. They think they freaking better than everybody. You eat cow. Now, let me get something. Lick my ass. They think they're better. They think they're superior human to you and I because we consume meat. Because I consume dairy. Because I actually like to use proper deodorant. They think they're better than us, and, how, and they're not, nigga. How? Listen, I have no problem. Veg vegetarians, I respect you. Pescatarians, I respect you. Vegans, I don't respect you. You know why? You look me in my face and tell me you like bush shit better than a. You really trying to tell me you sit down and look me in my face and tell me you eat bush twenty four seven? Are you telling me that shit tastes good? Get away! I don't. I don't believe the hype. And listen, I have no problem, right? Look, listen, even young Don just prove it. Vegans are miserable. They're miserable humans. They're miserable. He was yelling at people when he was... So, ah. Someone were to challenge me on that, I had no problem arguing. See? Because he had no meat. So we're in the car on the way to Barnes & Noble when 
Bianca and I get into some kind of a debate about veganism. Uh. She wasn't quite sane. <laughs> it was bullshit. But she bullshit. was definitely like trying to poke holes into it. And I had no time for that. So we're going back and forth, back and forth. Never getting disrespectful or out of hand. But you could definitely see that she was really getting into it. This went on all the way up until we pulled up to the Barnes & Noble. And as much as I love to debate people about how they're wrong and I'm right, we were about Vegan. to enter a Vegan. place. Remember, to me, the aisles of a bookstore are holy ground and no place for negative energy. So I tell her, hey, uh, let's pick this back up when we're done here. Yeah. We head inside and start to browse around. So I'm doing my thing, perusing my typical genres. My go-to sections are the self-help section, health, and philosophy. And at first, everything is good. But then we pass by the culinary section, and she sees something about veganism. And I guess that woke up the demons, that need to argue, that itch that never got scratched because there was no resolution to the argument in the car. So then she says something slick, trying to reel me back into the argument. But no, not here, not here. So I brush it off and keep it moving. But does she drop it? Of course not. So she takes another jab. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what she said, but whatever it was, rubbed me the wrong way. So I'm like, yo, chill. And I guess she didn't like that, because then she started to get a little loud. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I upset you? Hey, 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 hey. Lower, lower your voice. Oh, what? Am I embarrassing you? Yes, you are. Now lower your voice. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was embarrassing you. I know I'm not like your girlfriend. I bet she never got loud with you. I don't want to embarrass you in front of all these people. Bro, I wanted to just like... Trip up. Cradle her by the back of her head and put it through the bookshelf. Right? Of course, I didn't. And I would never put my hand oh, her. But boy, oh boy, was she asking for it. So, I just leave. I walk oh. away, and as far as I was concerned, she was dead to me. I had never been disrespected like that by a woman I was romantically involved with. So I walk away and left her. I was pissed. Not only did I feel disrespected by the way she raised her voice like that in a public place, but on top of that, we were in a Barnes and Noble. She desecrated a place of sanctity. So I walk outside, and then I realize I didn't drive. Great. Ah! I'm trying to figure out what the next move is when my phone starts to ring. It's Bianca. Of course, I don't answer. She calls again. Again, I send her the voicemail. Then I get a text. Hey, where are you? I'm sorry. Can we go home? So what do I do? Did I swallow my pride? Try to smooth things over so I could get a ride back home? Of course not. I He's a vegan. Don't worry about it. I'll get a ride home. She replies, come on, Don, let's just go home. I'm not going to leave without you. I don't reply. Instead, I call my boy Quinn, who we all live in the same house. Long story. Watch that This Girl Was Trouble video that I mentioned earlier if you want more bad story. I called Quinn. I gave him the rundown, and I told him that I needed a ride. He said he was in the middle of something, and that he was going to be free in like 30 minutes. So I'm like, okay, works for me. Because ain't no way I was getting back in that black Jetta. But then another 15, 20 minutes pass, and I get another text from Bianca saying, I'm not leaving without you. I'm sorry. I'm a dumb dumb. You're the greatest. Nah, the details are fuzzy. You know, it was so long ago. But I'm sure it went something like that. <laughs> what else she said? It sounded remorseful and genuine. And also, I didn't want to wait on quit. So I told her where I was, and she came over, and you know, she gave her a little apology, and then we went home. And during the car ride, we had a conversation about boundaries. And you know what? We never had another argument or debate for the rest of the time we spent together. Moral of the story, women ruin everything, so don't take them to your favorite places. Yeah, I disagree. Just don't argue with them. You know because why? It's never worth it. That's real. Okay, I agree with that part. Listen. 
You know why? Let me show, let me show y'all an example. Y'all, Don was, how do you say it? Fragile. His feelings was hurt. Right? You know why his feelings was hurt? Because he was a vegan. That's why. Eat meat. It makes you feel better. I say go stupid now. I say damn go bite the, the ass of a freaking cow. You know what I mean? Cook the wild good every now and then. Moderation is everything, right? I mean, that's... <laughs> I find it funny. <laughs> the fat guy telling y'all about moderation. <laughs> Shit. You ain't that kid calling the, the pot black. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, moderation. So, you know, enjoy your little pieces up. And use proper deodorant. Y'all vegans with them. You have all plant-based deodorant. Yeah, you smell musky mess. You smell like wet clothes. Stop it. You smell, stop it. Put on proper deodorant, all right? Cool. I right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new to the channel, man, smash the like button, subscribe. Comment down below. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Show everybody some love. Everybody, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Be happy, be blessed, and remember, the world is yours. Peace. I'm out.